16-year-old Robert Florence died this morning. Police say his mother called 911 Wednesday saying she shot her son. And tonight, Robert's brothers talked to Jasmine Aduce about how they want their youngest brother remembered. Jasmine. Caring, loving, energetic. It's how the Florence brothers describe Robert. I sat down with them tonight to hear about the life Robert lived and about the tragedy. Here's what they had to say. Robert was a real young, energetic, loving boy, and he didn't deserve this. And <clears throat> we was taught to have faith and pray during these times. The hardest thing was, was hearing it because I was at school and I was just getting ready for a regular day, you know, getting ready to work out. And my little brother called me and told me what happened. So, like, the first thing I did was just, I just torn everything up I could see. And it just hurt me, really. It was like a part of me just left once, once I found out that, out of all people, it was my little brother, you know, only little brother I have. Wichita police arrested Robert's mother Wednesday. They say charges against her are being amended to include second-degree murder. Welcome to Explore Crimes. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos. This story takes us to Wichita, Kansas, where a tragic event changed one family's life forever. On the morning of October 9, 2024, police received a call from Tesha Florence, a 46-year-old mother who reported that she had accidentally shot her 16-year-old son, Robert Florence. Tesha told police that it all started when Robert decided to skip school, something she claimed he often did. She described him as a bad kid involved with drugs and said he frequently missed classes. While they were at home that day, Robert reportedly kept calling out to her, asking to use her phone. Tesha initially refused, but he then told her he planned to go to a neighbor's apartment to get some weed. Later, Robert asked to use her phone again, this time saying he wanted to call his brother to ask their father for money. Tesha agreed and let him make the call. Afterward, Robert's behavior reportedly turned disruptive. He pulled down curtains and tore up pieces of paper, throwing them on the floor. Actions Tesha felt were meant to annoy her. She admitted to police that she was feeling very frustrated, saying his behavior was pushing her buttons. At one point, Tesha laid down to text a friend. While she was doing this, Robert allegedly took her Ruger 9mm handgun from a nearby backpack. According to Tesha, he didn't make any threats or point the gun at her. She said she immediately lunged forward to grab the gun in the backpack, pointing the gun at him and asking, Do you just want to die? That's when, Tesha said, the gun suddenly went off, and she realized she had shot him as he fell forward. When officers arrived at the scene, they reported finding Tesha visibly distraught. She collapsed to the ground and told officers, I shot my baby. She begged the officers to kill her. They found Robert lying face down in the living room suffering from a single gunshot wound to the head. He was rushed to Wesley Medical Center in critical condition, but sadly, he succumbed to his injuries two days later on October 11th. The teenage boy police say was shot by his mother Wednesday morning has died. Digital anchor Keith Grant is live at our breaking news desk with that update, Keith. Christy, that update coming from Wichita Police within the last hour. They're also sharing the name of that teen who was allegedly shot once by his mom Wednesday morning at an apartment in Southeast Wichita. They tell us the 16 year old Robert Florence died from his injuries this morning. On Wednesday, he had been rushed to the hospital in critical condition after police say the teen's mom called 911 saying she shot her son. Booking records identify the mom as Tesha Florence and we're learning now because of her son's death. Police say they will update her charges to include second degree murder. Earlier this week, police said they're investigating her in connection with a similar crime that happened back in March. She's accused of threatening her ex-husband and his current girlfriend with a gun, but they didn't report it to police. As officers escorted Tesha to the police car, witnesses described her as visibly shaken and overcome with emotion. In a state of overwhelming distress, Tesha begged the police to kill her, a heartbreaking scene that underscored the deep emotional toll of the tragedy. Her desperate pleas painted a picture of a mother in utter anguish, facing the crushing reality of what had happened. Her. Officers observed blood on her hands, her clothes, and her face. She told them it was from kissing Robert after the incident. Police found the 9mm handgun at the scene with one round in the chamber and two additional rounds in the magazine. 
Tesha stated that she had owned the gun for about seven years and knew how to operate it. She admitted to detectives that when she took the gun from Robert, she racked the slide back, which caused the gun to load the next round from the magazine. While Tesha paints a picture of her son as a bad kid who does drugs and often skips school, his older brother Curtis shared a different story of his brother. Curtis described Robert as a caring and genuine young man who had stayed home from school not because of rebellion, but because he didn't have clean clothes. For Curtis, the morning of the incident was routine. He left to drop off their younger brother and returned, only to find police outside their apartment. He was stunned by what had happened, expressing disbelief that his mother would ever act violently. To Curtis, his mother wasn't the type to go off the rail, and he is convinced the shooting was accidental, not a result of uncontrollable anger. Curtis also shared that their family had been going through financial struggles for years. Since 2022, he had stepped up to help support everyone, with Tesha, Robert, and his younger siblings all moving into his apartment. Tesha was initially charged with two counts of aggravated assault, but now faces amended charges of second-degree murder after Robert's death. She is being held in the Sedgwick County Jail on a $600,000 bond. Chief Sullivan described the incident as tragic and emphasized the need to address gun violence. And we're learning now because of her son's death, the police say they will update her charges to include second degree murder. Earlier this week, police said they're investigating her in connection with a similar crime that happened back in March. She's accused of threatening her ex-husband and his current girlfriend with a gun but they didn't report it to police. New at five today, a Wichita mother charged with murdering her 16 year old son makes a first appearance in court. Tesha Florence is charged with second degree murder, burglary and aggravated assault. Her bonds at 1.2 million. In the wake of this heartbreaking tragedy, Robert Florence's family set up a GoFundMe account to help cover funeral and memorial expenses. The unexpected loss has placed an emotional and financial strain on the family. The GoFundMe campaign aims to ease the financial burden and allow the family to focus on remembering Robert and honoring his life. Any contributions, big or small, are deeply appreciated by the family as they navigate this difficult time. The funds raised will go directly toward funeral costs, memorial arrangements, and any other expenses related to Robert's passing. The heartbreaking loss of Robert has impacted not only his family, but also resonates deeply with the community and beyond. As the legal process unfolds, we hope the family can find solace amid their grief and that justice is served. This incident stands as a somber reminder of the struggles families can face behind closed doors and the need for support, understanding, and compassion in times of hardship. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.